We had a uh, Cody Rhodes promo, and uh, he comes out and he's he's doing his promo, admitting he was nervous for the WrestleMania match, didn't want to return with a loss, but he's at the top of his game. He's beaten Seth twice. It's driven Seth crazy. And so, of course, uh, Seth Rollins interrupts after he's done this fiery promo for Hell in a Cell. And uh, we still have the uh, the bullshit laughing, but at least the actual promo that he cut in between the bullshit laughing was probably the best Seth Rollins promo in a long time. And he acknowledged that Seth had been, or, uh, that Cody had been here, and he left because he wasn't good enough. And he went, and him and his little friends attempted to destroy WWE. But when it didn't work out, Cody came back, and uh, now he's trying to take Seth Rollins' place as the hero of the company. He said, you don't take a sledgehammer to the throne and then try to take that throne from me. And he vowed to end him at Hell in a Cell. So Cody said, listen, we don't have to wait. Just get your ass in this ring right now. Let's fight. So uh, Seth starts heading to the ring, but then... He, of course, bails, so Cody goes after him, and they had this huge pull-apart. It's a very good pull-apart. I thought thought this was, you know, we had like three of them on the show. There were a lot of pull-aparts in the show, but this one was very good. This this was really good, though. This was the best of all of them. Um, Cody also brought up that uh, he really put over Seth big, and they were also in Des Moines, Iowa, and, of course, Seth is from Davenport, Iowa, and um, he... He wasn't like the hometown hero, and, and Des Moines isn't exactly Davenport. You know, I mean, they're not like we're like like the quad. It's not quad cities like Moline in that area where Seth would be the hometown hero. Um, the crowd was kind of weird with him because there were people who who cheered him, but he still was kind of booed. And Cody got a little bit of booze because Seth is the hometown hero, but not a lot. So it was kind of a weird reaction there. Not weird, just unique because of the city. And um, Cody really put over, but Cody put over Seth as like a generational talent and that his father uh, would talk about how great Seth Rollins is. And I do remember uh, talking to Dusty. And um, as far as talent in the ring, um, Dusty was uh, definitely praising Seth's talent in the ring. This was when... Seth was in NXT or FCW. I may have been, I think actually it was FCW at the time. And, um, but I do remember him heavily praising Seth's talent, but he, you know, I mean, Seth has talked about this on, on his like stuff about how, you know, there were, there were issues when Seth was there. Um, you know, Seth, Seth was like the most talented guy. In developmental, because he was already, a, you know, a, a champion in Ring of Honor and great worker and everything, but he was doing a different style, and there was like a feeling, you know, that that Seth was great, but um, you know, it it it, it was there, it, you know, whether it was he was he thought he was great, and because. You know, he'd never been great in WWE. He was, you know, great in Indies. It didn't count. The whole bit. I mean, Seth had the same problem that a lot of people did, but he grew out of it and, and you know, whatever. You know, and then he became, once he got in the shield and they pushed him to, to the moon and everything like that, and he had the talent, you know, it, it worked out very, very well for him. But um, I just remember Dusty saying it was a rocky road, you know, where with Seth. But, you know, it was like the guy's got all the talent in the world. And it was just like, but, you know, there was, but there was the but, you know what I mean? Because at that time. If you're a big fan of these video clips here on YouTube, you're missing out on full length shows. Down there on the bottom right hand side of the screen, click that join button. And when you sign up, you'll have full access to all of the shows that we've got up on YouTube, over 300 at current count. Wrestling Observer Live, The Brian and Vinny Show, and Figure Four Daily with Filthy Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. Hit the join button, sign up today. You can also click subscribe, and you'll always be alerted as to when new shows and clips are available.